The Ketchum Indians are in a rebuilding mode for sure this year with head coach Brian Hogan and a few of the assistant coaches. They've started to make some strides as a team and as a program. That's good news. Good news for today for them would be to tackle a little bit better than they've been tackling in the past and capitalize on the opponent's mistakes. That's one thing that Ketchum really needs to do and then keep their mistakes down. So they're playing against White Plains today and let's see how this one goes. The Ketchum Crazies were in it to win it, but early in the first quarter, White Plains forced to punt, and Aiden Foster loses his footing and the football. White Plains recovers, and that could have been a huge miscue. But Ketchum's defense was tough and held the Tigers down, so no harm there. White Plains' defense was equally stingy, as Dockery looks for Tim Riley, but Matt Scottman was there for the breakup. Dockery was 0 for 6 in passing in the first half, and Tayshawn Dodd was held to just 54 yards on 8 carries. Just before the half ended, White Plains quarterback Tommy Avery leads Donovan Brunson perfectly, and the Tigers break the ice with a passing TD, but missed the extra point. So it was 6-0 at halftime. Second half, and Ketchum came out with a renewed sense of passion. Dodd started racking up the yardage, and Jesse Pascal finds the end zone from 15 yards out. The extra point made it 7-6 Ketchum. And talk about capitalizing on opponent's mistakes. Pascal grabs this one. Somebody called Vector Security because Pascal just stole one from White Plains. He takes it 32 yards the other way, and that sets up the quarterback sneak up the middle from Al Dockery as Ketchum beats White Plains 13-6, and it was a long time coming for the happy recap on Ketchum's home field. Neither team was able to move the ball. What was happening on the line? Uh, in the first half, we kind of struggled on the line. They, they were just blasting right through us. And then we made our adjustments in the second half, and we were able to push the ball down the field. One of the things you guys needed to do is capitalize on mistakes of other teams, and you did that today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a. It was a. I'm out of words right now. It was great, man. It was great. Everybody just stayed in the game, and that was it, man. This is uh, not a feeling that Ketchum has had for quite a while, and, and to beat a team from Westchester as well, uh, you know, you guys are doing it. This is the second win of the season. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great, man. Everybody right now is pumped. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm tired, but shoot. Second win, it feels like we just won like everything right now. It just feels great. It was really anybody's game, although you started to get some momentum in the second half, but nothing was happening in the first half for either team. What is happening from your vantage point? Uh, I just don't think that we were playing fast enough. We didn't come out um, and play our game full speed, and they probably didn't either. You know, I don't know if the weather or the time or whatever it might be, but both teams kind of just feeling each other out in the first half. So, yeah, it was slow to go. And so um, at halftime, you, you made adjustments. You told the team what that changed things around. I said we need to play with emotion. It's a game of emotion. We got to come out, play passionate. When we make a play, get excited, encourage each other on the field, and just play fast. You know, you got to play this game with passion. And, and I think we did that in the second half. We've been in every game that we've played so far this year. Our theme since really the beginning of the season, you know, game seasons, that we got to finish and play 48 minutes. Um, and we didn't do that last week. We did it the week before, and now we come back and do it again this week. So we've got to keep that going, and it's got to just become part of who we are. Um, and we haven't been that way yet. So I'm happy to see that, that it occurred today, that we came out and we finished four quarters of football.